So we're holding on Ahmed Kufhe in the paragraph beginning of a dogma. So we've been building up this question of if the pshat is like the Oyd Yeshleim at the end of Bakadata, that the inyan of Shittat Midas Harachim, the Midas Hadin, is that ultimately lasted love there's going to be a gilu of the Sheirishu Makir Hamalchus, but that is still going to be required to be Niskala Al Yudei Hapratim, Al Yudei Aishalkus, or Al Yudei Zo. We need to understand both in the context of Zon Malchus and more broadly in the context of Mamala and Seviv Kalami. If there's going to be a gilu of Seviv, why does it need to be Niskala Al Yudei Mamala? And if it needs to be Niskala Al Yudei Mamala, how is it? How does it work? How, how does Mamala function and retain all of the his chalkus of existence and of creations? So we explained that it's al that at the outset of creation, just like Hashem needed to have a tzimtzum and silik ha'oyr legamri had to completely remove the oyr and say tzimtzum even the moke of the oyr akav and it was only after the creation of the kalim achat tzimtzum that you could be able to have chaz over here the re-emergence of the oyr akav now, even though that era kav is al yidei atzimtzum, it's still an era kav which is dobuk in the ish lefnei atzimtzum, and it's uh, uh, it's like like gilu helam. So it's still uh, the the thing that we said was not possible now becomes possible. So if it was always possible, if it if it was possible, why couldn't it have been possible in the outset? That's the question. Why do you need to go through removing the erin seif, which is the sheir shemaker of the era kav? So we explained that without removing it initially. And establishing the Kalim. It's not possible, it wouldn't have been possible for the Kalim to be so evil to tolerate that way. Because that way, the way it is, and it shows you okay, is would have been too overwhelming. I was thinking about it like the um when you need to build a build a dam. The first the first stage of building a dam is to create channels to to divert the river. Because you can't build the dam when the river is flowing. Right. You actually have to remove the river, build the dam, and then when the river gets re when you close the diversion the di- diversion channels, the the river can come back and, and the dam is able to be saved. It. You get a clue, so it can be macabre the it can be macabre the, the water. And it can release it and have control over the release of the water. But if you would have had the water flowing the whole time, you you just wouldn't have been in a, in a matter to be able to, to build a dam. So it's not it's not a moshem uh, but it's you need, you need to think that you need to somehow that had to be a removal of the oil for the kingdom to be able to come into existence, and only then could you have the giveaway. So from that, we, in a sense, concluded that when you similarly when you have the giloi, the mamale. Even though Mamala ordinarily, we say, cannot be soivel a gilui of soiviv, once you have Mamala, Mamala has within it the capacity to even be soivel, even to tolerate a gilui of, of, of soiviv. We said, okay, that, that's enough to conclude or explain why soiviv will not be obliterated, why Mamala won't be obliterated by the gilui of Eira Seiviv. We said, because we originally said, if there's a gilu, the whole reason why Mamala has to be Mailem or Master. Why does Seviv have to be Behelem? And why does the Mala have to be further Mailem or Master on the Seviv? Because if there would be a Gilua Seviv, everything would be in this battle. Or would be Lechatchila not, not even created. Would be a Matthias Bechlau. So that's why we have it. But once it already exists, then, one, then, then when you have the Gilui, it won't lose it. But how can the, but, but at the same time, if the Gilu, if so, if this is, is, is mocking Beshova, everything is Bashva Achas, then how does Mamala fulfill its function of maintaining the differences and the uh, distinctions between things, which is the whole role of Mamala. 
So we explain about the Moshul. We give a Moshul of a person who has taken, who is, is able, after learning uh, a sugya uh, in all of its details, then is to through Eichhezer, as well as Nevius, and once that is, it's, it's not that the gilu the seichel needs to obliterate all of the protim of that of, of the sugya. Other it's mayor in all of the protim of the sugya, bashvo achas the prat, rishin to the prat achrin. All the protim of the, of the seichel now become illuminated with the seichel atzmi. And by doing that, what happens is that Chodsh, there is tak a, a different protim, but the 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 havdola between the protim is 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 diminished, is reduced, is as in a sense is transcended, to the point where there isn't in the sugya itself there isn't so much of a musag of a, of, a, of 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 hagdora of things being an, a seichel elgin or a seichel tachtin. A significant component, an insignificant component, the whole thing becomes dominated by the Nakuda, Nakuda Ha'atzmis of the Haskala. And that is the Moshul we give. Now we're going to say the Nimshul, how that applies to Sevim Mamala and Zor Malchus. In a sense, come to the conclusion of this significant part the Maim and the Hemshech. But as Hashem, we're going to learn today from Uvedugma Kazais until Kufzayin, till the paragraph beginning by Neam Shacha. And then Be'ez Hashem, we'll have one more share to conclude the Hemshech. So I think this is... Be'ez Hashem, we'll have one more share to conclude the Hemshech. Ah, okay. Ready? Amit Kufay. Uvedugma Kazais so similarly, this can be understood by way of example in Seva Mamala. When you have a Gilu Eira Seva in Mamala, then there will be. Not an obliteration of the protim of Mamala, but rather the entire, all the protim of Mamala will be enlightened by the Eir Asiv. So the Eir will be the Gilui and it will be the Pneumius. Elishabachal Prat, Yoir, Bechinas, Ein Seva, Mamash. So on the one hand, there'll be all the protim, but all the protim will be. Uh, illuminated by Seviv. Viprata Achrein, Kamei Viprata Rishin. Ukanaba Moshul, just like it is, like we said in the Moshul. The Gilu Bechinas Keich Haseich La'at Mi Haru Bobe Bechinas Hasogi Pnimius Bechinas Protim. We said in the Moshul that what happens is the Seich La'at Mi comes in every single detail of the Sugya that was being learnt. Ela Shabachal Prat, Meir Etem Eir Haseichu. It's just that. In each of the uh, the protim, it becomes illuminated by the the seichel atzmi. Gam beprata achrin shabai, even in its most obscure parts um, of this sugya. Umemeila kol ha protim heim bebuchinas aflo, and this is the idea that once everything is permeated with the seichel atzmi, everything then becomes more bahaflo, more wondrous, more uh, less. Let's mukbul in the differences. The fact that the, these things are in protim is not so tape as mocking. The 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 the, 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 the hagbola and the, the aspect of it is very is um, is less prominent. Because everything is focused on how it is a chelik mina etzim. Just let me say, if you shout at the if something is a chalik mina etzem, it's as if it's 
There's no Havdala so much. Tayf is in the Chalik of the Etzim, it's your Tayf is in the whole Etzim. I, you know, it's like it's a bit oxymoronic in the statement. You say, So it's like acknowledging there's such a thing as a Miktsasa Etzim and a Chalik Mena Etzim. But at the same time, you're saying your Tayf is Bukuli. So you acknowledge that there's uh, superficially a sense of uh, Hagbola and Havdola. But at the same time, you realize that what, what, what's uh, the sense is that everything is beyond is beyond those limitations. So it's the same thing in our example of Seva Mamalek. If it comes through all the details of Mamalek, then it comes in a Pnimistik Aifim, Begili, in every single part. But instead of it being an Eir Mutsumsum, what usually happens when you have Eiris and Kalim? That the Kali is only Megala. In this instance, what is Begilu is the Eir Asevi, the Vilti of Vilti Bagvu. So it, uh, it somehow, it, it to a great, a uh, huge degree, removes the separateness and the division between all of the details. They should clog those column because each and every one of them, and sorry, because the entirety of them and every single detail within them is is all uh, united with the union of Seviv, the Gilu Era Seviv, the Gilu Atmos and Mosain Seviv Baruch. Shemei by Begilu Imamish Bechinas Bigvul. So, you know, on a yeah, okay. You so you've seen the transfer from the from the marshal to the nimshal. Yeah. So now we're going back to our, our, our theme of Zon Malfus. We've been talking about Seva Mamala. Now we bring it back to our original theme of Zon Malfus. The Bechina Zon Malfus Yushne Mashbiim. We explained how Lasid Lovey, both Zon and Malfus, will be Mashbiim. They'll have impact. They'll be relevant. They're not going to. Uh, replace Malchus is not going to replace. It's not going to be this this issue of Mashpi and Makabel between Zoh and Malchus in the in the way it is presently. So you base Abichinus Abichinus Mamale v'Soiviv Kamei Achsha. You're going to have both components, Mamale and Soiviv, Zoh and Malchus. Hadash Achsha Abichinus Mamale Ma'ilim Al Eira Soiviv. The function of Mamale now is to conceal the Soiviv. The Mashem Yer Begilu Ba'Ilam Ismanim V'Rayim V'Abichinus Mamale. And what is revealed and apparent? In the world and to all the creations is the Inyan of Mamal. And that's how everything can exist and function as it is. And everything can be understood, it's separateness from other things. And be a yesh for Dovanif and Bifne Atme. However, when it comes to the Eda Sefe, which is the Etzem Achais of every single thing, the only way Zion can exist is because of Seyvev. Because who levade keich v'yichot v'la'av is yeshma'ayin. Vivre yeshma'ayin. So b'chinas hashpoosh m'b'chinas malchus kanal. The ikke is avus and m'b'chinas malchus tavka. Heim ba'elis v'nivrayim heim ba'elim is v'nivrayim heim v'neshamnes. Ha'izem mistat v'b'chinas m'amale. So the Eira Seyvev is made possible through the hashpoosh of malchus. Ultimately. And That oil, which is the etzim achayis of everything, is hidden through the processes of mamal. She ain't a meir begilu bani bron. Umasha ain't mistate. So gam ki mitzad she ain't a meir bechinas etzim oil to save it. Not only is the Malamaster also Seviv is in Agal. Right. Masha, meaning the Eira Seviv is Mistate, 
is also misach ain't in mere bechinas ha'etzim made the same. The itself is not begilu. Rutzayin eleim ashu nimtza u misalim kili yeish hakavon al yeinu who he sheyi achshav achshav agilu bechinas malik alamim. Since the whole intention of the Eibushta is the Kozman Hagolus, the dominant feature of existence should be in the Malakolamim. Although it's present, whilst it's there and everywhere, it's concealed from that. It's not uh, appreciated and sensed by any of the creation. And this reality that it can be there and be completely concealed is not beyond the Abishta's uh, abilities. It can both be there and be completely inconspicuous. And that's why Mamala has the Kayak to further be Mailimu Master on the Eira Seve. Avla Osir Yard Bikinas Etzema Eir the Seve. Shazel Bikinas Achai Shokola Nivroim El Ashagilu Yia Al Yede Bikinas Mamala. Osir Lover, you have this Gilu of the Etzem Chai Shokola Nivroim, but this Gilu is going to be Al Yede Mamala. The Bikinas Mamala Luis Bata Lasid because Mamala is not going to go away, Lasid Lovely. It's not going to become completely bottle in the face of Seyv of Kalamim. And the Gilu is going to be brought about in all of the details and, all the, and it's going to be able to be brought with Pnimius. But don't lose track. The Etzema Gilu is going to come from Seyv. It's going to be Meir be Gilu be Chopprat be Shavu. And they're going to keep their identity. Well, yeah, but the, the way that their identities now are in a state of Hagbola and Havdola from each other is going to be um, diminished. Not completely obliterated, but to the point of being secondary and insignificant. Okay. Like, uh, when you see two objects, you'll see that Hashem, you won't see its parties to Kabbalah. Hashem Ali Day is this thing, Hashem Ali Day is that thing. You won't see it, this thing that has Hashem inside it. Oh, so it won't be nullified, but it will be it. Yeah. It will be a yesh. Like it will be a thing. Mitzi is Tava. The yesh on will be the yesh on Mitzi. That's what we're talking about. The Begilui. What's going to be Begilui? The Eirin Seif HaSeifet. Atmos Mohu Seif Seiborosu. The yesh on Mitzi. Ah. Is going to be mayor in the Yashan Ivra. So the Yashan Ivra part will be nullified. And it will turn into Yashan. Itself will be mayor, no? It will itself will become Yashan Mitzi, so to speak. It, right. will, it will, well, it will have the advantage. So you can say, what's, what's changed? There was always a Yashan Mitzi. Now there's going to be a Yashan Mitzi, which is going to be mayor in the Scala, Al Yudea, Protim, the Mamala. The Yashan Mitzi is going to come in all of these different things. Before creation, there was no of these all different things. But through our Veda, through our Veda term, it was able to transform the Kali such that it can be transformed and actually be soyable and tolerate and experience the Gilu of the Yeshamiti. Till now, the Gilu of the Yeshamiti has, has to be hidden in them. Even now, the Yeshamiti is the Yeshamiti. Why? Because of the Eira Seyvid. Well, because of the Seyvid. Why? Everything only exists because of Seyvid. But it's the hell. So we're able to be sensed that it's your slimy atmosai, and we're like a yesh with abinifra bifnei atmosai, and all of the things that come with that. Posha able to uh, be, uh, we had in Tanya the last few days, we're able to sort of deny a lakus to such an extent. So that Matthias is going to be, is going to deher, it's sure that it's ikachai, it comes from Seyfu Kalam. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay, so some we've got two sikum in here. We're going to have two sort of summaries and conclusions. This is the first attempt at a summary. Or well, more or less, the, the next three paragraphs are the summary of what we want to say. 
וזהו דאג שלו ביקרו בבחינת השפעה ובבחינת זו. The primary hashpa nowadays is from zo. Mamale. Our hashpa is from Malchus to Behel. But the hashpa that comes from Malchus is concealed. Our hashpa is from Malchus to Ika, Hamashpia. Zo Shatia is from the Torah. When it comes to Mashiach coming, the Ika, the Ika Mashpia is going to be Malchus. It's going to be Gilu of the Gilu of the Shedrush of Makara Malchus. And that is going to, that is this defined by when we say that Aishas Chayla Teres Baila, she's going to become like an Atara. Malchus is going to be like an Atara to Zoh. She had taste with Eiris, but within us Zoh, maybe within us Malchus is going to be these increased Gilui. The Gilui she was mocking our Malchus. Even say by Sivif Kalam Mim, and it's going to be Meir the within us Zoh. There's still going to be a Yichud Zoh. She toy Oz Kamei Shehi B'Shar Shem Akira. What's going to shine then is going to be the origin and the source of Malchus. Shubachinas ein seif atzmas umahus. The gilu bechinas zu tiyal yedei yaza. But it should be begilui. That is going to be through zah. Shubachinas ha gilu, because zah is the holy name of gilu. Because, because we've been, we've been talking about it till now. That the whole idea of malah and that zah is to be megala. And this is like what it says in the Apostle, Eishas Chai La Teres Baila. She bechinas a Torah al Reishoi. She yoyed bechinas a Malchus. Kamei she even mekeiru bechinas ein seif atzmas umuhus. Lachain ti yoz bechinas a Torah al Reishzo. So she's going to be the crown on his head. Because it's going to be me, her Reishomoke, she's atzmas umuhus. So she'll be a crown on his head. And so the primary mashpia, who's going to be the primary mashpia? Malchus. But Zoh is still going to be called a husband. Meaning they're still going to have a relationship. Meaning there's still going to be a yichud of Zoh and Malchus. But till now, the yichud of Zoh and Malchus is the pshat, the Zoh is the mashpia, and Malchus is the makabal to contain it. Facilitate the Gilu Eir of Za in the Eilamis. Whereas, according to this Pshat, Zah's Gili and Malchus is also Gili, but in a Malchus is the Mashpia. Malchus is Mashpia Eir into Za, and Zah is Megala that to the Eilamis. Bagam Sha Gilu Yia Yide and even though the Gilu is going to be through Za, meaning that Za is. You could then maybe promote Zoh to also being very significant. But it says in the Zoya that he will not be for her a partner. She won't need him. Although we're saying he needs Zoh for the Gili, the idea of the Misham Shagabe won't be a partner for her. What are we indicating there? The, the Zoya wants to emphasize that the Ikka Mashpi is Malchus. If we just say, oh, you need Malchus and you need Zah, and they're both equal. We're not saying they're both equal. Taka, both are going to be Mashpiim. And we need Zah for the Ashpa to be Begilu Yubipnimius. But let's not delude ourselves and think that they're on a par. She is Atara al Reishai, and she, Malchus, is the Ikka Mashpi. The Achsha of Zahu Ikka Mashpi. Or Malchus Bechinus Makabu. Avala Asid. So whilst now the Ikka must be a Zoh, and she, Malchus, is the Ikka the Makabal, I said, Lovi, she's going to be the Ikka must be a, and she's going to be the crown on his head. Okay, so that's the summary of the way the Indian plays itself out in Zon Malchus. We were talking till now, we started with Zon Malchus. We went in to save Mumale. And now we've explained it back into the Zon, into, into Zon Malchus. Good thing is how that... Remember we talked a while ago about how it's not going to be a role reversal. Remember? It's not right. the same thing opposite. I mean, how is this not a role reversal? I, I guess in a different way, there is a still idea of one person now that was underneath now being the dominant one. I hear what you're saying. 
I don't think they're popular because damn. It's not an irrelevant point. I hear what you're saying. It's not saying the Zoe is a Makabal. The Zoe is just a, a, a secondary Mashbiya. Right. Okay, so I, it's not the same. Okay, fine. Yeah. But it's not. It, there's more to say on what you're asking. That it needs to be. You're right. You're right that it needs to be more thoroughly explained. That Nakuda I mentioned in the previous year. Yeah, fair enough. But not for now. But it's a fair point. Okay. The Shayrish Ayinyan Hun. What is the Shayrish of this whole concept? Let's take this back to its origins. All of the Giluyim that are in the Elamis come from where they come from the Era Kav. That shined in the Mokim Achalol after the Timson. This Kav, so if you conceptualize the Mokim Chalol as being a sphere. So what is outside of that eagle, if it's, it's circular, outside of that eagle is Lifnea Timson. And inside this eagle is the Mokima Ilamis, say the Shashlis. So in this Cholol was Chazavahir the Irakav. Oh, it's like a board you're saying. Like it, it's, it's, we're you're using, saying. yeah, we're using Lashna Kabbalah, that, that's how it's saying. So the Kav was not Nimshech Ad Tachtis Eagle. So it entered at one point of the Eagle. But it didn't it penetrate all the way through to touch the other side of the Eagle. Because really, inside the Eagle, there's no difference between the top and the bottom. An Eagle doesn't have a top or a bottom. So if you visualize in the way it's being uh, depicted, the Eira Kav was Meir, but it wasn't Meir all the way through. Ad Tachtis Eagle. Because of its Chaim, the, the upper end of the calf is attached to the Eirin Seif Shlif Nautimson, the eagle. But the bottom of the calf is not attached. And that's how it's, plaus- it's possible for there to be a Maila and Mata in the calf. Because obviously the part of the calf which is attached to the eagle of God is considered Maila. And the part that isn't attached is considered matter. Because it's berich mokim, and it's not dovuk to the Eirin Seif. Shif Nea Timson, yeah? Masha En Kein La Osid, however La Osid Lovey, Yiskal Le Vesech HaKav, Bechina Sa Eirin Seif, Shif Nea Timson. There's going to be a gilu in the calf of the Eirin Seif, Shif Nea Timson. To another way of saying, gilu Eir Asay Vivim Amalu. Another way of saying, uh, okay, just but we're now talking about the Shayra Shainim in its most uh, sort of encompassing sense. And there are those Makubalim will say, They say that the Kav then attached to the Eirin Seif when it has this Gilui of Eirin Seif Shifnea Timson, it will extend all the way through. So the, the Kav will extend from both sides of the Eagle and reconnect. So then, there, there won't be any Maila Umata in the Kav. And that will be the Gilu of Eirin Seva Sevi Kalamim, which is Bashvar Achas everywhere. Shagam Bechinus Tachlis Akav, Yer Dovik Bein Seva Sevi, Kumai Ha'elian Shabai. The Imkain, La Yer Boy Bechinus Maila Umata. It will still be Bukhina's Kav, like everything we've been subscribing for. There will still be his Chalkos, there will be the Inn of Mamala. And in all of the entirety of it, there will be the Gilu of Eim Seva Seviv. It's just spelling out in sort of more Aisi Sakabola, but it, the paradigm is the same. Belochin. Gamma Protim Shemisada Kav, Lo Yi Bukhina's Protim of Dolim Zemeza. Therefore, even though there'll be protim of za of, 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 of kav, they won't be so separate from each other. 
Ukaname Amal Shul Dekilik Chaseichel Atzmi, like we explained above in the Gilui of Kayach Seichel Atzmi, when you when you megale the Chidush Godul the Nifla, and how it's made in all of the Protim of the Sugya. The Zehu Inyan told the Shemayim Vaharetz. Remember that Medrash. This is what it says in the Pasuk. Eilat Tel Shemayim Vaharetz. We said Tel the Shemayim Vaharetz means Yichud Zon Malchus. Bechinas Yichud Zon. So, you know, everything we've said till now, it's, you know, you know, computing it through into all of the ACS of the Maimon, there's going to be a Yechud Zun. But what's the Yechud Zun going to be? It's going to be Gilu Sheir Shemak Makeda Malchus, Bechinas Atmos Mohus. And it's going to be made in all of the protim of Kav and Bifrat and Tzav. And they begin as Zav, Yoy Gilu, they begin as Ein Seif Asayvev, they begin as Gilu, they begin as Primius, but all the Elim is running very much Adla Mata Mata Mamish. This one's going to be lost in loving. Good. The Zehu in Yin Shit of Midas Harachamim, the Midas Hadin, the Madrega Hayosel Yoyin. This is the Pshat going right back to the beginning of the Hemshech. This is the Indian of Shit of Midas Arachim Midas Adin, the Madrega Yisrael Yen. Because remember, we, we, there's also an Indian of Shit of Midas Arachim in Tchila Sabria. It's not excluding, we're not saying that the whole world exists only in the Midas Adin until the Asid Lavi. And really, everything that was described, either the Pshat in, in Shuvi Yisrael. Or the pshat in the bar of Yimash Miyat Zeres. That's how everything is, and this is also lovely. We just changed the. No, we're talking about it in the most sublime state. There are elements of Shittah Midas Arachamim all along, but this is the most, the ultimate it's configuration now. of Shittah Midas Arachamim. That's the Indian. The Madrega Yisov Yena. The Bechinas Hazza. Bechin Klolus Gilu Yakav. Who beginas ham shocha mishem alikim? So za and the kav in general is what ham shocha from shem alikim. Precious borer alikim. She beginas midas arachem midas adim. But lachem bab beginas midu gbu. And that's why through the kav and through za there is midu and there's gbu. The shit of midas arachem in midas adin who she yom shach teis was eiris beza uva hakav bechlal. That there will be a gilui of beyond the uh, what was previously in Zor and Kav, from where from the shoyder who mocked our malchus, who begin as ein seif atzmus and mahus, she yoyer be gilu ba protim to memale, and then it will be miskale this ein seif asiv kolamim atzmus and mahus in all of the protim and male. Bagam she gamah protim da achat simsim you begin as big vul. So, since there's going to be in all of the Pratim of after the Timson, starting from Odin Kadmi, all the way down to you and me, all of those Pratim after the Timson is going to be Bechinas Bligvu. We're all going to be aware that our Ikra Chayas is from Ein Seva Seviv Kolami, Atmosumahus. Abish is, is the is the is the reason for all of our existence. Is the truth of all of our existence. The ain't so if Atmos was bleak wool is going to be apparent to each and every one of us. So when that's the case, there won't be such a difference between you and me. Or me and I. The reality, the real reality will be Yichudila. The real reality will be Atmos and Hussein Sefarachu. And that real reality will be, uh, you know, apparent in everything that exists. And that is the Inyo Shittim Nisarachmim, the Madrega Hadyoisa El Yoyna. Okay? So, that is the end of the. Subia of that sub, which is you know what we've been doing since since the beginning. So it's 
Do we haven't finished the Hamshech? There's still more to come. What's more to come? So what do we do about it now? How? What's the Aveda of all of that? It's all Pascal. This is all Pascal, right? This is the Pascal of it. Now we're going to have to figure out what is the Aveda of it. And why we have to be learn Torah and be Mekayim Mitzvahs in order to make this happen. And that's going to be the final part of the Maimah and the final part of the Hamshach.